for those who are new to the vlog, my name is Fran. My name is Chris. Welcome to another day. We made it into Tokyo Disney Sea, which is a theme park neighboring Tokyo Disneyland, which we were at in our previous video. Yep. Go check that out if you haven't watched it yet. Quite literally yesterday, our first time at Tokyo Disney Sea. In the difference Tokyo. between this and uh, Tokyo Disney Resorts is that this was primarily built for young adults or adults in general, and a little less for kids. Although kids can still come, of course. So this one definitely for the grown-ups, a little more for the grown-ups, yeah. and what's really unique about this uh, particular theme park is the only theme park in the world that is unique to sort of creating different themed areas uh, based around the sea. They've got like the Arabian coast, they've got the Mediterranean harbor, mermaid stuff, uh, tangled like different, stuff. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me just fact check that. But they've got the Mediterranean uh, harbor, the American waterfront. Uh, they've got Fantasy Springs, which actually opened yesterday. We were smart not to go at opening day. It is still relatively busy. The way to get different express or priority passes to get into the brand new section Fantasy Springs is incredibly convoluted. When we walked in, there was a lot of people standing around by the entrance trying to get a priority pass because you actually cannot access how to book that on the actual Tokyo Disney Sea app until you're in the park. Bit of a mayhem, um, but not sure what to expect, but looking forward to the rest of the park. But yeah. Either way, it's gonna be a good day. Let's go head on in. significantly busier at this theme park than when we were at Disneyland yesterday. First impressions. It's pretty crazy. So what you're seeing is the end or the beginning of a line. But the ride's over there. So it's gotten so long that they've had to wrap around backward. Oh, it's just crazy. Best bet might just be paying for the rides. It's not that deep. The entrance fees to the theme parks here are actually not expensive at all. They're under $100 Canadian. You know, if you want to make the most out of, you, out of your day, I think like the best bet is to probably buy priority passes. Yeah. Because not all of the priority passes are free. Yeah. Um, right now they have like the 40th anniversary priority passes going on, but it's very select rides that unfortunately most people don't really want to ride on. So yeah. you, you might as well just line up for those ones. But like yeah. seriously, the ones, the top tier rides. No, I didn't know we were in Iceland. Look at the basalt rocks behind us. If you haven't watched our Iceland walk, head on to our channel right now and watch it. There's a series we have, oh my gosh, I think we have two or three vlogs out for Iceland. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you hopefully inside or after the ride, depending on if I can take a camera in or not. We'll give it to the Tokyo theme parks, well, specifically the Disney theme parks. Their lineup, science, the way they do things, it's really efficient, so like, we're not standing, people aren't standing, just like stagnant in line for a long time. My 32 year old legs can't handle just like stiff non-movement, so I prefer walking, so we're making good time. We've only been in the lineup for about like maybe like 10, 12 minutes, and we're getting near to the entrance. So. So long. We really want to ride it. We ended up getting a priority pass. For it. Remember how we said we should pay, you should pay? That's what, exactly what we did. Because meanwhile, all these big rides, all these rides are like so jacked up. No lineups for the others. For the others. So we're just gonna go bang out three, three rides. Yeah. 
and then go back and then get the soaring soaring in. This ride that we're just about to go on is called 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. We actually go underwater, so check it out. Here we go. So theoretically, we're going somewhere in there. didn't do much research other than the fact that I knew that it was themed around the sea and that we just so happened to be like in town while they're opening up the brand new section of the park but like this is so exciting and like you could already tell that this park is definitely made for like young adults and like couples right up our alley. Gosh okay so from the looks of it, it doesn't actually look like we're going underwater. But it's like it's the illusion. Always the illusion. Oh, this is so exciting. Uh, oh, this is so cool. Right here. Oh my gosh. So cool. Okay. We didn't like actually go underwater, but it felt like we were underwater. It was so cool. Each area has like these really cute food stalls or like little cafes embedded into them. This one is serving gyoza, sausage buns, and beverages. Okay, I like the other rides. I also don't know what to expect. It looks very like Venetian here, very Italian, and it's called Soaring. So it's probably gonna be something to do with flying. I have no clue. That's by the looks of it with all these pictures up here. There's definitely a whole bunch of flying. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I get to hold the GoPro. It's really tough because some of these rides are very like vigorous. Or dark. Yeah, and dark. So like the camera doesn't really pick it up. And the only camera that would pick it up is our iPhone. And I don't exactly want to lose the phone on a <laughs> ride. Holding room where I think we're gonna have like a, some sort of safety FYIs. Mm -hmm. 
思います皆さんの夢を見る力ride was well worth the wait. It was even worth paying for the uh, priority pass. You're in a room where you feel like you were like out flush, like soaring around the world. Oh, I think like that's why it's called soaring. <laughs> the only thing we can compare it to is like you guys know like the flyover Canada ride, like that. Yeah, but maybe better. All over the world. Oh, I was just great. Definitely, a 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now we're gonna go have some food. Uh, yeah. Because we're hungry, we haven't had breakfast. Yep. But let's see what the food is all about at Disney Sea. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we are currently eating at Volcan... Volcan... Volcania? <laughs> Uh, which is pretty much like a Asian inspired dishes, maybe like closer to Chinese. I've got some fried chicken and rice noodles. We got uh, chili garlic, no chili, chili shrimp. And then you've got the uh, garlic, yeah. That looks really good. In comparison to the food we ate yesterday, the stuff is way better. They definitely played us in Disneyland Resorts. Alright, it's time for the Mickey. Jello. <laughs> so no gelatin because this is made out of almond jelly. Ooh. So good. Ooh. Ooh, that really hits. And dare I say, not that sweet. We got like three dishes plus two drinks and two desserts. Yeah, 40 bucks Canadian. I like. Oh, it is a hot day. We are going to be using another one of our priority passes. We're about to enter the Lost River Delta. I don't know about you, but this looks worse than the wooden coaster at Playland. Yeah, because we can see it all. But like they purposely make it look janky. Tokyo theme parks with a shade. You guys, it's Raja. It's Raja. Raja, Raja gonna beat your ass. Do it again. Do it again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
Fun fact, you know how they say open sesame? It's actually open sesame. But in this case, it says open sesame. And now I'm confusing myself. But we're getting a churro, a chai spice sugar churro. I think the goal is to go around all the different areas because each section has a different type of churro. And so again, chai spice fitting. Banging. Okay. Banging. Yeah, that's nice. So good. Oh, dropping on the sugar. Oops, sorry. Each area so far has been so beautiful. Arabian coast. Nerd. Aladdin and <laughs> Aladdin and Jasmine. Rise aside, this place looks out of the movies. Like just the architecture is so cool. And the amount of detail that go into these. Mm. I I think I've said detail so many times already, but it's the truth. Yeah. Look at the last one. Mmm. I love those. Alright, they've got Casbah Food Court. Ooh! Uh, so far this park has been the most veggie friendly park we've been to. Mm. I think I want to eat here later. Sure. Hell yeah. Ooh, Abu? Where is Abu? We found Raja. So if they don't have Abu here, and if I don't see Princess Jasmine, we're gonna have a problem. Okay, there you are, there's Abu. Come on, you gotta get that. That's so cool. You could rock that at the shop. Those are actually so cozy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Two pack for 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Look at this quality. This is better than Joe Boxer and any other. Wow, that's actually really good call. You can get a matching shirt with it. <laughs> I just don't wear pants. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it's Janie. Success! I usually get like pins with characters that I like. Do you know that these boxes are mine, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys, it's Jafar. He's a sexual predator. Look at his Jafar. Jafar? Too close? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so we didn't get it on video, but uh, I got a kiss from Abu. Almost, yeah. I didn't know he My wanted, boo. I didn't know he wanted that smoke like that. <laughs> I didn't know he wanted to get, you know, monkey with he it. Only, I got monkey with him, but yeah, I got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, it's definitely like a melon of some sort. Mmm. Damn. It's so good. It's good. Like a melon slushie? Yeah. Mess free. Right? This is like when Iceland had peanut butter in a bag. Mmm. Try out tiramisu. I'm not mad at it. I see all of you over there protecting your skin. Only is it in Asia that it's acceptable to carry around an umbrella for shade. When you know the Asians are out here protecting their skin. Okay. Yo, I want to see the cake on it. Yo, there, she ain't got no cake. Where's the cake? Where's the cake? Oh, it's actually really shallow. The water's only ankle deep. Oh, it's so cool. Like the floor is like, they're not on tracks. It's yeah. like magnets. It's, it's like, like a, someone's just controlling. Whoa. It's all like magnetic. 
We noticed that at the other rides too. A whirlpool! I was really hoping that we were all gonna bump into each other. Yeah. That would have been great. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> Aside from like cooking under the sun. <laughs> Life's not just about roller coasters. That's so good. Then what, what are they about then? Sometimes it's just about riding the waves of life. Need deep water. I mean, ankle, ankle deep. deep water. Okay, let's see what they got. So cute. This would have been really cool during the batch. So cute. It's never too late. This is giving like. Go with it. That's so cute. Actually, the prices aren't too bad either. It's like 1,900 yen, which is like under 20 bucks, like 16, 17 dollars. Do you notice anything different about me? <laughs> you got new pants? <laughs> I finally found ears that I like. Hell yeah. Look at these. Hell these yeah. are my first Mickey or mini ears. You bet Mickey's <laughs> This one's a regular charm. This is. This is gonna be the true test. Oh, didn't see you there. Oh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Yo, certified banger, cuz. Um, man, so good. Mmm. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Chura vlog. I'm meaning for rainy seasons. What do you mean? Rainy seasons. <laughs> That's the OG Tower of Terror. This is supposed to be the American waterfront, but it looks like Florence, Italy. Jokes on you, we're Jokes already you. married. <laughs> <I'm> so <freaked laughs> out. Solid proposal spot right here. So for those of you thinking of proposing to your girl, proposing to your man. We are we are contemplating on riding the Tower of Terror. No, there's no contemplation. No, we're contemplating. You're contemplating for both of us. Remember, we're married, so <laughs> we are one. See, you're contemplating. It's calling us. They have a cream cheese brownie. We're getting the sparkling cocktail and just some fries sparkling cocktail which is rum and pineapple and then french fries which came to about eight dollars canadian so that gives you an idea of the pricing at the tokyo disney sea i think in general relatively inexpensive theme park foods because like an alcoholic beverage like this already like eight ten bucks this would be already yeah, about ten dollars let's give it a go you want to go first no no, no you go for it Honest opinion. That's pretty good. You like it? Yeah, it's not heavy on the run. Your alcohol escapades continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so drunk. We're gonna run. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come we're on. trying to get into Fantasy Springs. Earlier than we were supposed to, by Which three is hours early. The new park we were talking about. We were waiting until like 6.30 to get in. Come on. Now we're gonna get in at 3.55. Come on. <laughs> Suspense is killing me. Let's go. We got we're it. Go we're going in. We got it. No way. No way. 
Okay. Patience is a virtue. Hell oh, yeah, we're getting in this bitch. We managed to snag two priority passes to two different rides at Fantasy Springs. That's two out of four. Um, and then we can line up for the rest of them. Really, you only needed one ticket just to get entry into the area. But now that we have two, that's super clutch. We got uh, priority passes to one, Anna and Elsa's ride. Frozen. Mm -hmm. Frozen. And two, um, Peter Pan's ride. So now we only have to line up for the other rides, which is what you wanted to do for Rapunzel. And then whatever the hell else. Either, I'm too excited to even remember. It's going to be a new map unlocked. Hell yeah. intermission as we head over to fantasy springs we're going to be grabbing a drink that we've been wanting to have we've seen everybody been drinking it all over the park Shit. it's at the lost river cook house just by indiana jones Mango this. Okay. That's the best drink in the park, hands down. Ooh, sheesh! <laughs> now I got a bunch of stuff we'll have to put in that. Yeah. Right? So, oh. Yes, yeah. Queen. Booth right by the Indiana Jones uh, area. And there's always a lineup, but it's a banger. Guaranteed refreshing, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Let's go to Fantasy Springs. Yeah. Is it just me or the vibes have changed? Yeah, it's a new uh, map unlock vibes. I'm feeling that the vibes have definitely changed. What's up, people? Look, the sun is shining. It was like dark back then. Yeah, yeah that's why, because I'm telling you, there's a dome over this place <laughs> and they control that shit. <laughs> and I'm 100% sure that they're missing some shit in the air. Like fear moons. I'm tired, but I could be here forever. Yeah, 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 Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! It's like we're going into another like Disney land. You know, like we do like three day bangers, you hear me? Hell yeah. <laughs> Wow, we haven't even really seen anything yet. I think I think the music in the background is making it like all the more exciting. Oh my gosh, it's it's um Rapunzel's Tower. Okay, first ride. First Peter ride. Pan's Neverland Adventure. Steady banger, bud. Look at you! You met Peter Pan at Disneyland Tokyo. And now you're going on this ride. Pause. Fast forward, you feel me? <laughs> wow. So then, you know, it's going to be a good ride when you have the 3Ds. <laughs> or the 40s, I don't know. They don't even sell these in America. Oh, <laughs> How was it? That was so good. <laughs> that, was that was so good. Like it was a ride and a show and and like a movie. Yeah. The way they transition from like the 3D yeah. screen into like the 2D 
I don't know. Like you follow him and you're flying through London in the air and then you pan out and then real London is around you. It's so cool. Every time I get off these rides or like even during the rides, like I'm always on the verge of like tearing up. I'll show you a really cool room, by the way. It's just through here. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Where's the more building the snowman? <laughs> <laughs> Veggie curry. Veggie curry. There's pictures. I'm coming for you. Oh, they got a flan. It's a coconut custard. In Canadian, that's about maybe $6.50. And that's about like maybe $3.50. Oh my gosh. And they have a mango raspberry lassi. Hell yeah. Live. That looks so good. The meals on this side are way better than yesterday. Totally. No offense. Does he see? This is where the food's at. Goodness. In what world? Ah, this world. Christian got the chicken curry. I got the veggie curry. We got a co is it coconut flam? Yeah. And a mango raspberry lassi. Ooh, the naan is so fluffy. Here we go. Veggie. That's a hitter. It's Japanese curry. Mmm. This is so fluffy. Mmm. Mmm. Time to try the lassi. Mmm. So good. Japan's doing something. Seven out of ten. The Arabian coast looks so much better at sunset. I I was doing your harmony and then you changed. As always, no idea what to expect. Nope.
I'd recommend. If you need to buy a pass for this, do it. <laughs> we only waited about like 20 minutes. Wow. It was like the slow build up for the ride. And then like towards the end, it's just like zzz. The drop was longer than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I was like, we are not in these seats enough. Like, I would, we were like, Ooh. I did not expect that. Just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Okay, we were, we were, we were dilly dallying in the beginning, okay? Yeah. Like we stopped and stared at this giant monster and then it's like, we out. You never step in the same river twice. It's always changing, always moving. Contrary to the incredibly false story of Pocahontas, of colonialism and uh, pedophilia, Pocahontas is my favorite Disney princess. Also, one of the best soundtracks ever. So just, just, we we can just appreciate that. Just bad history. That's all. Just bad history. Probably could have made the movie a little more accurate, but. No, it's too bad. Whoa! Look at the clouds and the mountains and lava. So luminescent. I'm like so emotional right now. <laughs> <laughs> if there wasn't so many people, I'd probably like start bawling. I know. Man. Funny thing about a river. Stop. <laughs> <gasps> Elsa's castle's lit up. Wow. Why are you gonna go back to Arendelle? Well, we have to. That's where our ride is. Oh, right, right, right. Last ride of the day. A day at Disney comes to an end. Our trips to Disney have come to an end. For now. It was a good day. It was so good. So good. Anyway, thanks for joining us. My name's Fran. My name's Chris. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you. Mwah.